professor that stands out to me the most is Dr. Jill Shona. I had her my sophomore year and fingers crossed I'll get to have her again my senior year. She is an incredible early childhood educator and professor now at Clemson. She is so genuine and really cares about what she does and having a professor that is willing to be that involved and in investing in, in you as a student, it's so hard to not be successful in her classroom and she really is a lot of my why as to why I want to be an educator because if I can be half the teacher she is, then I feel like I'll be really, really great. <laughs> I definitely have um, several educators that come to mind whenever I look back on my experience in the public education system. Um, many of those teachers kind of shaped my own teaching philosophy now. I take things that I learned in kindergarten and remember from my kindergarten teacher and my experiences there and then even in my classes now at Clemson um, that, I, that I really look back on and I'm like these are things that I want to implement into my own classroom and with that I'm able to like take all of those things and bring them together and kind of create my own teaching philosophy. When deciding on what age group I wanted to teach, um, I definitely geared towards early years just because I believe that those years are the most foundational for a child. I think that that early childhood age, zero to eight, really sets the foundation for a child for the rest of their life because those children become, you know, functioning adults that have to be successful in a society. And I think if we can have strong teachers and educators that are setting the foundation for children at that age, then we can really make it for a strong society. Initially, I thought that I wanted to be in a 4K classroom, but after this semester um, at an upstate third grade classroom, I've really kind of been torn between what I want to teach because I've got to experience the baby babies, but I've also gotten to experience the older students that are more self-sustained and self-sufficient. And so I'm kind of torn on what grade exactly I want to teach right now, but I'll be in first grade in the fall and then I'll student teach in kindergarten. So hopefully after experiencing everything, I'll be able to make the choice.